Have you got boxes under there? Of course I've got boxes. Well, go on, on. then. Well, show me then. All right. You, you fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey! Look at that. Commander in the woods is how we were meant to live, Vincent. It's tiny. You should be ashamed of yourself. Just you wading around you know, the woods. You know, you know, Come on, on. <laughs> What awards in that. Someone help. <laughs> Someone help me. I met Dom on Pride, um, and we kind of hit it off. I was struggling on Pride. I had a bit of a fucking meltdown, suffering with anxiety for the first time, like really, really bad. So me and Dom ended up pals. Um, and... We'd do a lot of hanging out, wouldn't we? I, I remember being at my flat once and Dom come round with this this fella who was in the Cirque du Soleil. Do you remember that? Jan, yeah. Yeah, Jan. I, I, didn't he, I've, I think I've made this up in my head, but could Jan run up the wall and keep his head perfectly still? <laughs> could he, like, run up a wall but his head would stay exactly in the same position? No, no, no. I've made that no. up. So, yeah, that's where I met him. I met him on, uh, I met him on Pride. And, and we were talking that night. We talked a lot. I'd tell him a lot about my friends and my family, and some of it's, some of it's real, and so a lot of my stuff's embellished as well. It's like, cheers, Jack. What I realised is, like, you've got to kind of feel it out, your stories, like your storytelling. And if you let the truth get in the way, it'll fuck everything right yeah. up. No one wants to hear that. You know when you, you relay, like, a, an incident you've had in town? It's never... You're much braver and cooler than you were in the moment. You know, your version, you want everyone to be impressed by it. But then you sell it to TV and... You, then you sell it to TV. And so then I, everyone thinks you're a hero. And everyone thinks you're brilliant. Yeah, it's all bollocks. You just lied. No, I, what I did, what I was doing with Dom, what I did with, with people like Dom, like actors and producers and directors, is I, I'd, I'd sort of regale them with these tales of me, of me childhood and, and me development through life with people around me, my dad and my friends and stuff like that. And... It was like, I think I was practising, you know, and, and Dom loved the stories. Like, we'd always have a really good laugh about him. He just said, listen, if you ever make it, I'll, I'll be in it for you. Now he's fucked. Like, he has to do it now once a year. Yeah. <laughs> it's brilliant. He has to do it once a year. I've really put pressure on him as well, because if, if he doesn't do it, we'll lose our show. So just know that, and that's now on record. Really? Yeah. Yeah, you're very important. I want to get percentage points for when it goes, when you sell it to... I really, I feel like you've got enough. Like, you've got a castle and a quad. I've got trainers. A quad? I've got mice and I I've had scabies last week. You'll have a quad. I've seen you on a quad. Oh, that quad? Yeah, yeah, oh, that one that you forgot about due to your it's incredible wealth. Who forgets they've got a quad? Oh, it's not oh, your quad. Oh. Someone else's quad. I'd love a quad, man. Whose quad is it, then? It's the farmer. Who lives who next to the, the castle? Land. Oh, he rents the land off you. You're the lord. You're an actual lord. I'm, I can, in my head, I've got you being really cruel to that farmer. Bring him in, and he's like ragged <laughs> in, really thin and tired. Present him in front of me. <laughs> Tell me before I push your eyes into the back of that feeble head of yours. <laughs> Why isn't my rent here? <laughs> Banishing his family and burning down his crops and that. <laughs> Just on your own, on that quad. <laughs> fucking snowed under, like. I'm going to fuck him up, <laughs> killing his kids. Um, so, yeah, that's how I met Dom. Met him on Pride. We did a lot. We chatted on the balcony. It was on the balcony. I don't know if you remember it, but you agreed to do it on the balcony with Jan. If I'd, if I'd managed to get it on the TV and you went, you'll do it, you will get it on the TV. Well, nobody ever does. No, I mean, you know, everyone's got an idea about their stories yeah. and what to put on the TV, but you did it. You got it on. Yeah. I was amazed. My, Astonished. I, mean, I think I was as well, to be honest. Like, when, when we went for the meeting with Sky, like, John Montague and Zai Bennett, they were like, it's fucking great. How much do you need? Like, fucking didn't know what to say. The thing is, I think, and I honestly think, because of the way Dom spoke about it, I always believed that, of, well, if Dom says I'll do it, then of course I will, you know? So I always believed. I oh, never no, doubted it. Yeah, I never doubted it. I should definitely get points on it. I don't think we can afford to give you any more points. You've already, you honestly have lots of nice things. Your fucking lovely coat that someone's just given you uh, is the inside of an even better jacket. And you're sat here <laughs> wanting more. I'm, this is made out of cancer and despair. <laughs> this is all I can afford. Kids with broken dreams made this. Do you know what I mean? Italians made your shit. <laughs> Italians that live well and drink Rioja. <laughs> Do they drink Rioja? No. No. So, yeah, that's how I met Dom. And, we, and, and he... I gave him a call. You were busy. You'd been really fucking busy on summit. 
and you were having a you were you were trying to rest. That was it. Yeah, you were resting. They were like, "He's resting." I'm like, "Fuck, he's resting." We're, we're like, "We've got to do it now." Like, I was really can't... busy resting. Yeah, yeah, exhausted with it. I'm just. It's every day. It's every, every day. day. It's all day, every day. Oh, if I'm not on the quad, I'm fucking <laughs> bollocking the farmer. If I'm not doing that, I'm trying to put out. You know, uh, cr- evicting. Yeah, evicting peasants from. <laughs> <laughs> down the way, they just bring us down. They bring the family down. They bring us down. It's exhausting work. Yeah. Watching Pikes them suffer. Fires. <laughs> so not only did did Joe get it on, which is <laughs> which is the big thing, because lots of people have good ideas and stories. Not only get it on, but then when I read the scripts, they were they were as funny, at least as funny, if not more funny, than the stories as I remember you telling mm. them. And 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 uh, laugh out loud scripts, you know, which. I've never read. I never. No one ever sends me anything funny, and hmm. I was, you know, I'm still these ones. This time I laugh out loud. It's sort of, mm. it's just. I don't know. They're my favourite scenes, actually. I think you working with you. I shouldn't really say this. Why don't you just read my favorites. scenes? You read them all. I only read my bits. Do you? Well, yeah, you're in every. Fortunately, I'm in every fucking one. Yeah, because <laughs> I have to. But yeah, I, I love what is Dom stuff. Like I can, I corpse a lot with Dom. Um, and I and because I know he's not a doctor, he's just an idiot that drives around a quad all day, baked out his head, pissed to his kids, just <laughs> fucking teaching them swear words. Um, so I know he's a daft idiot and he's not a doctor, and it really fucking amuses me the elongated pelvis or whatever it was. Liver. He's really elongated his pelvis there. <laughs> I'll never be in a medical drama again. You're brilliant. You're brilliant. You've got you've done this little not... thing where you go. <clears throat> Doctors do that. Do they? Constantly clearing the throat, yeah. I thought you'd done that on purpose. I did? Yeah, yeah, I saw it. Character's choice. Read that. Ideally, we need to get him on. I mean, I'd love to bring him on a job, you know, like, and he'd be fucking fascinated by all the criminality and all the shit that's going on. Really have a great night while everyone else is stressing. Well, I did. You did? You did a little, yeah. Last but we can't, year. We can't, we can't, I mean, he's just in demand. <laughs> he is in demand. If he's not fucking being given brightlings, or bollocking peasants, he's fucking <laughs> doing a list of shit. You know, I'm just a drug addict that's managed to blag everyone. Like, it's like Donald Trump. You know, when Donald Trump got elected, and it was like, oh fuck, everyone was like, it was just a piss about. And it like, worst case scenario, that's what's happened to Dom. He's gone like, yeah, I'll do that. Fuck, fuck. How many stories do you have? Loads. Fuck, fuck. I want to do stories. How many do you have? Loads. What's amazing? What's great? And why it's so funny? Is that you are dealing with really heavy stuff, yeah, and dealing it full on, yeah, with yeah. total commitment to the heaviness, yeah. Well, you came, and you then the comedy just follows suit. So it's easy the it's comedy just easy stuff. Easy after that. It's easy. It's good fun. That day, the day Dom came this this season. Oddly, I was having a bit of a mental breakdown, and I hadn't seen Dom since the last one. We had like every now and again, I'll send him some music. He might send me a song or something like that. But um, the day he came, um, I had a really, it was a really bad bipolar day. And um, I was, I will not go into too much details, but it's weird. It was immediately the same again. Like I didn't have to, you know, I did worry afterwards. I thought, I've not seen him for a year. He's coming doing us a massive favor doing this. He doesn't need this at all. He's doing it because he's my mate. You're a bit like the big Lebowski. You remind me of him. You know the dude, he just abides. Like, if he says he's going to be somewhere, he'll be there. Like, he won't know what the fuck he's doing, but he'll be there. Like, he's a man of his word, he really is. In the cow shed, in minus four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pissed (laughs) off. On the side of a hill. Could be doing anything. Could literally (laughs) be in a castle. Like... Fighting one of his mates with a broadsword. You get that one. I'm going to start that side of the room. I'm going to start this. We can't tell. We just fucking have it. Turn all the lights off. You were in a bad way that day. I was worried about really you. in a bad way, man. And, and I, then I, someone explained to me the amount of detail that you are oh, in charge yeah. of. Yeah. Because you're some kind of control freak. I'm really bad. And yeah. I thought, shit, he's taking on too much. He's, uh, he's taking on too much. He's burning out. But then you popped up the next day like a little spring, spring rabbit. Spring chicken. Yeah, yeah. It's bipolar. It's like, you know, you get that day where. You just can't, I can't stand myself. I can't look at them in the mirror. I hate my fucking hands. I can't look at my own hands, it's weird. And um, It's not that weird. <laughs> <laughs> no, they are awful hands. No. Like claws. They're, 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 I mean, the blood on them. Withered, <laughs> calloused, sort of hooks, really. Huh? Come here.
Yeah, right. Yeah. What? I'm sorry. <laughs> Ow! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> ah! You burn your ass. Yeah. <laughs>